Hey, Luca, defensively, it, was the three-point shooting for the Mavs? How did that fit in with what seemed like a really good overall defensive effort? Those are breakdowns. Um, those are that's the one thing I think we struggled with defensively tonight. I thought I was I was really happy and uh, pleased with the way uh, I told our guys. We talk about mindfulness uh, a lot as a group, and I thought the way that they were locked in and following the scouting report and uh, the game plan was really much better today uh, than it was in the, the you know pre All Star break. Um, but those three point shots give them credit for knocking them down. Uh, but you know they also got some clean looks because of our defensive breakdowns. But overall, very pleased with our defensive effort tonight. What did you think of Lonzo and his return, and then uh, Isaiah's first game at Staples Center, and those two coming off the bench together? They were both good. Um, it was good to see Zoe knock down some uh, knock down some shots. Uh, you know the ball. That, that group really had the ball moving, which is what I was hoping to see with two point guards on the floor. They they went through a stretch where they weren't scoring, but they were getting wide open looks, and that's all you can really ask for. Uh, you know, we finished with I think 32 assists, and, and I felt like the, you know the the ball for the most part of the game, the ball was really just being that it was the simple pass into the open guy, and that's that's how we want to play all the time. So it was good to. Uh, you know, to see that, and I thought that group had a big part to do with that. How was it that they got a delay of game coming into the game? Who? Lonzo and, and uh, oh, Isaiah. Oh, yeah, I think that, well, I'll check the tape out, because we told them that's going to be a silly fine. It happened to us earlier. you got to have your shirt tucked in. You know, oh, that's I'm, what it was? Yeah, I'm oh, assuming I it is. I didn't, I didn't see. I was talking to uh, B. Shaw. Uh, Coach saw, but if, if that's what it is, whoever didn't have, whoever got it, will get a silly fine. <laughs> and how cool was it to see Ori come out on the court like that? I didn't see it. Uh, I know. Well, what were you I, doing? I was, <laughs> I was trying to figure out lineups and plays. Oh, okay. um, I did not, I did not see it, but I'm a huge fan of of his, obviously, and everything he's done, not just for this team, but uh, for the NBA and, and winning all those championships is incredible. So, uh, it was. Even though I didn't see it, I'm imagining it was pretty cool. Julius had a triple double tonight. Um, I'm curious what you thought uh, got into him tonight and, and what made him so successful. He's 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 been getting much better at at letting the game slow down to him, and uh, I think tonight. Um, you know, we've been working a lot on him because he started getting double teamed. Uh, you know in the last few games, and especially last time in Dallas, they started doubling him every time. So we've been working on him, uh, you know, playing at a better pace once he gets into attack mode and then getting reps in practice at, at recognizing the double team and then knowing where our, our shooters are going to be and where our cutters are coming from. And I think, um, I think he just did a really nice job tonight of reading the defense and making the simple play. Um, and then guys knock down shots for him. Luke, uh, it seems that every time Josh, Huff, Josh Hart starts, he gets a double double. He had one tonight as well. How much does his play as a starter kind of? Yeah, I don't know if tonight's double double counts. He <laughs> went rebound hunting with 24 seconds left and grabbed an offensive rebound. Um, but I know what you're saying. He's his his rebounding and toughness really brings a lot to our team as far as our mentality, our mindset. Um, we 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 are dominant on the glass tonight. And when he plays like that, and then you get Zoe getting more comfortable getting back into the way he rebounds the ball. Um, you know that, that that allows us to have a lot of running opportunities, and it, uh, I think when those guards come in and get those type of defensive rebound, it, it, it kind of sends a message and helps set a tone for us as far as how aggressive we're playing. Did I answer your question? Well, I, I had a tiny follow-up. I was wondering if his play as a starter kind of throughout the next 24 games, if you plan to maybe keep him as a starter for the stretches. It's an option. We, we've talked about it. He's been he's been very good as a starter for us. Um, we'll see. Hey, Luke, Ingram had another efficient night offensively, but defensively, a lot of deflections, like three blocks, a couple steals. So what are you noticing about him on that end, especially tonight? He was great. He was great. He was he was uh, awful in practice the last two days, and we've been on him. We've been on him hard the last two days, and 
he, you know, he said he'll be ready for tonight. And I thought he, him and KCP in that first quarter defensively really set the tone because they weren't, they weren't going for gambles. It wasn't, uh, you know, high risk. They were just making plays within our shell uh, defense, being disciplined, using their length, getting deflections, getting blocks, getting rebounds. And I thought both of them in the first quarter uh, defensively really kind of helped uh, us start playing the way we want to play. Um, Lonzo only played 17 and a half minutes. You didn't have to go back to him late in the game. Is there any chance you do play him tomorrow? And how do you approach in terms of just integrating him beyond tomorrow? Yeah, he's he's out tomorrow. Um, and, you know, we finished him within his minutes restriction. Uh, we had a couple more to go uh, in case that game got close again. We were going to save a couple minutes in our in our pocket. But, um, you know, he'll be out tomorrow, get treatment. Let his body kind of recover. We'll see how he feels. If he feels good, he'll get to the gym with Miles and get a good workout in before the game. And then uh, we'll just, you know, normal routine, practice games, shoot around, pre, pre-practice pre workouts, all that stuff. And the more he does, um, you know, the more cohesiveness we'll continue to get. Last question, Thomas. Uh, was, was your plan going in to have Lonzo and Isaiah on the court to have Lonzo always on the court with Isaiah. Um, and does that have anything to do with his coming back from the injury and the way he's moving so far? I'm sorry, say, say it one more time. So Lonzo played, all the minutes Lonzo played, yeah. he was with Isaiah yeah, on yeah, the yeah. court. Um, did you, was that your intention going in that, that you wanted those two on the, you wanted, you didn't want Lonzo on the court without Isaiah? No, well, um, the intent, the way that I, I had uh, penciled it in was that they were going to be on the court together. And because of Zoe, it wasn't that I didn't want Zoe playing without Isaiah, but because of Zoe's minutes restrictions, he, he was going to, unless foul trouble happened or something weird happened, Zoe was going to come out uh, before Isaiah did, which meant all his minutes would be with him, but it wasn't part of the, of the, the, you know, the, the planning that went into the rotations tonight. Did you see him having any trouble moving? Zoe? Yeah. No. I thought he looked good. Um, I thought he looked good. I thought his shot looked good. Um, and it's just going to be continuing to get more and more rhythm. Thanks, everyone.